Have you ever wondered why God required the Jews to give 10% of their wealth as an offering or tithe in the Old Testament? You read about this in Leviticus chapter 27, 30 to 32. Well, first of all, the number 10 in Jewish numerology indicated wholeness or maturity. But as far as proportion was concerned, 10% of your wealth represented sacrifice. This was true then as it is today. For example, 3,000 years ago, if you gave 10% of your flock, harvest, or goods to the Lord, it hurt. It was sacrificial. Today, if your gross household income is $60,000, for example, and you offer the Lord the first 10%, that would be $6,000, you're truly sacrificing. The idea is that 10% giving in any age or culture requires sacrifice. Of course, in the Old Testament, this was a command because God was using the tithe as a teaching tool in order to instruct the people in His ways and will. We read about that in Galatians chapter 4, verses 1-7. to Since Christ's sacrifice, however, we should know and understand that God forms us spiritually in many ways, including sacrificial giving. 10% is no longer a command, it's a goal. A goal in personal giving to the Lord that demonstrates strong faith, spiritual maturity, confidence in the future, concern for the lost, and devotion to the church, just to name a few. When it comes to reaching this level of giving, the question is not, what will I be missing in material goods if I give sacrificially? No, the real question is, what will I be missing out on spiritually if I don't give sacrificially? Perhaps one of the reasons why our faith is so weak at times and our spiritual lives so dry may be because we haven't yet experienced the special joys that come with sacrificial giving. Remember that not everyone can give equally, but we can all give sacrificially.